So, your big exam is tomorrow, and you've done absolutely nothing. You know you should study, but procrastinating is just so easy. Look, we've all been there, but can cramming the night before even work? This is your body on cramming for an exam in 24 hours. Sleep rejuvenates and allows your body and brain to recover. It's too important to routinely go without. But it's pretty common for students to skip sleep for 24 hours and they survive. So for this challenge, you'll pull an all-nighter to be ready for your exam tomorrow at 9 a.m. Would the effort be worth it? Well, only your grades will tell, but let's try. If you want to succeed in pulling an all-nighter, you should reset your internal clock. Get some coffee and enough food for 24 hours. Oh, and don't forget to gather all your exam material. That's the reason we're doing this challenge, after all. Study group! Study group! Study group! Yes! You feel good, energized. You even made a schedule for your readings, breaks, and snacks. You will make it! Okay, you've been reviewing for five hours. Here's a tip. You're more than likely to remember something if you read it out loud. But don't assume that you're working as accurately as usual. By cramming information into your brain, you only use your short-term memory. The long-term memory you need to recall and retain most facts is not very active. If you don't use the information you're reading, it will disappear within a few hours. What? And remember that you're prone to errors when you're sleep-deprived, so review your work carefully. And don't forget to drink coffee because caffeine can increase alertness. Moderate doses of caffeine, like four cups, can improve your ability to think and perform tasks. Even the smell of it may help, but too much coffee can cause anxiety and shakiness, making it hard to concentrate. Smelling rosemary or peppermint essential oils can also help boost your mental performance. Well, they contain the equivalent of one to five cups of coffee. They're also high in guarana, an ingredient that already contains caffeine, so don't overdo it. Energy drink mix. <sighs> okay, you've been studying for 12 hours now. Night has fallen and darkness cues your body to release melatonin, a hormone that makes you sleepy. So avoid darkness, my old friend, as I'm talking with you again. Find a lamp that can cast bright light throughout the room. The blue light emitted from your devices can also delay the release of melatonin. This can help you stay awake longer. Don't skip your snacks. If you eat in small portions throughout the night, the energy released will keep you awake. Opt for lean, protein-rich foods like nuts, nut butter, cottage cheese, or tofu. Avoid fatty proteins like steak or cheese. These will make you sleepier. Dehydration can intensify the effects of sleep deprivation, such as grogginess and difficulty concentrating. So be sure to drink lots of water. As the early hours approach, your body will become increasingly fatigued. You shouldn't go into the exam without taking a series of small naps. Aim for 15 to 20 minute power naps during your breaks. This can help you improve your performance and avoid crashing. In addition to sleeping, aerobic exercise will help your body produce energy, so try and go for a walk. Okay, you finally made it. You certainly feel drowsy and irritated. Splash some cold water on your face. You might also be experiencing muscle spasms and reduced coordination. Have someone else take you to the exam as you're not fit to drive. 
Okay, now you're rocking that final exam. Way to go. But as soon as you put your pencil down, you'll likely start forgetting what you've learned. That's because most of what you learned last night was stored in your short-term memory. You know, even though skipping sleep for 24 hours is okay once in a while, the best practice is to study well in advance and get the rest you deserve. Getting a good night's sleep will keep you alert and help your brain crunch all that information. But what happens if you don't wake up? Was this a dream all along? Could you be in a coma? Well, we'll see what that challenge brings on another episode of Your Body On.